All right, Spreaker Channel 1, you are finally on the air. Welcome, friends. Coast to coast and worldwide. Right. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. And there's that intro. Let's skip that down here. Let's check our volume level. And hopefully we will be okay there. All right, let's go live on StreamYard. Finally, my friends, uh, let's see what happened here. I just noticed Mercy. All right. There it is. Oh, nope. Wow, massive problems, friends. Hold on. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. My uh, power cord to my main mic just went out. Uh, there it is. It is plugged in. Somehow it got bumped out. Wow. Like I said, 30 minutes of problem, friends. I couldn't go live or Wi-Fi and all that stuff happened. So let's see if we can't get that battery plugged in there. I do not want to run out of power while I am on the air. There it is. Well, it happens. You know, like I said, I almost gave up, friends. I'm ter I'm real serious here. I almost quit uh, and just reset the whole thing for later on. But, uh, you know, we got to keep plugging away and keep going. So it is the 23rd now, but I am starting this on the 22nd, friends. So uh, bear with me here. <laughs> Well, that devil's an agitator, that is for sure. All right, let's get our uh, StreamYard uh, intro going here. And we're going to see what we can do here, friends, on this morning. So let's get going. Let's get to it. All right. See if I can actually do a live. What? Okay, hang on here, friends. <sighs> All right, there it is. Bear with me. Lots of little things to do here. So hold that thought, friends. Give me a minute. And let's see why we have all these pages on there. All right. Well, there you are. Wow. 30 minutes of problems and problems and packed up more problems. I don't know, friends. Uh. You're live on the air. How you doing? Oh, my word, friends. I tell you, I'm about ready to shut down on this one. Uh, 30 minutes of massive problems. Could not get anything started. Uh, I could not uh, could get anything going. Could not. Uh, nothing would start. So uh, I, I almost quit on this one. Oh, it's the 22nd, friends. You are here. Well, 23rd now, but I'm starting this as is on the 22nd uh, at 1130. I know it's the Wednesday late night service. Uh, a little bit late, but you know how it goes here, friends. Uh, not much I can do. Um, had cords and cable lines for some strange odd reason unplug uh not uh, the the power wasn't in uh or you know the the plugs weren't in i don't know how that happened but uh, anyway uh <laughs> i don't know whether to laugh or cry friends i tell you 30 almost well it was 30 minutes uh, about a half an hour uh, maybe a couple minutes beforehand, but uh, I got everything lined up, everything started, and nothing would work. <laughs> like, there was nothing working. I'm like, I, oh my gosh, friends. So anyway, uh, we're here. I'm going to try to restart this. I'm leaving it at the 1130 mark. I know it's after midnight, the 23rd now, but I'm not going to try to do all that and, and change out the the time and all the information there after i've got it all live and and going and all that stuff so we're gonna roll with 11 30 friends on this podcast and uh see how it goes see what our wi-fi is doing all right give me a minute friends hold on here let me go ahead here 
live on X right now, live on all the channels as well. We are on StreamYard TV, friends, for, again, the 22nd, 1130. I'm leaving it there. <laughs> I'm not. This is, like I said, friends, the massive attacks, just massive. It, it, it just wants, you know, it just pushing uh, to just shut down and walk away. But I can't do it. I haven't heard from God about that. He hasn't given me a time out. He's given me some time to rest. But uh, he hasn't uh, told me to, you know, that's it, wrap it up, box it up, move it on, and all that stuff. So, uh, anyway, you're live on the air, streaming our TV, 23rd, but we, we're calling it to 22nd, just a little after midnight. But I'm, like I said, I am not changing nothing. It is your uh, Wednesday late night service here, Friends Pastor at Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, live on StreamYard, we've got Tin Can with us, going a different route this time, uh, recording live on the cell phone, friends, on this side of the uh, the studio here, so uh, that's, uh, that's why I've got this one open here on the monitor, so uh, that's all good and good and good. So, uh, Radio.co, Spreaker Channels 1 and 3 on the backup audio portion of the podcast, and of course, all the other channels as well. So, uh, when I get an opportunity, I'll go ahead and post all this out, and uh, thank you guys for being so patient with everything. I uh, haven't been feeling well, friends. 100%, uh, you know, well, 100%, I've been fighting it, but uh, I have not felt the same. I, have, uh, I don't know what it is, but a uh, week, month? maybe a month or so just uh been feeling out of sorts here friends and of course you guys know i'm always up front with you so so that's why the gap there that's why the six day rest uh gap there uh in between and um you know it's been just kind of relaxing and you know trying to take it easy so um well not really relaxing but y'all know what i'm talking about right Anyway, you know, getting some rest and kind of uh, sitting back and, uh, you know, trying to regroup myself and figure out what uh, what the plans are. But, you know, it's all on God's timing, God's plan anyway. So anyway, let's get to it. We are on StreamYard TV. Again, uh, happy Thanksgiving, folks, to you. And uh, always shout outs to my little sisters, family, friends. Well, let's pray it in. We've got a lot to cover, as always, going into Matthew 11, 1 through 30, and so much more. So make sure you got your Bibles with you, friends. Uh, live on Twitch TV, by the way, uh, as well as the other channels. So kids, hold your thoughts and your comments. Uh, thank you for that. All right, let's pray it in. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you. First of all, foremost and first of all, I thank you. Through the, uh, through, the, uh, through the issues and problems, the trials and tribulations, uh, everything that, uh, you know, that I've been going through this, uh, this last month, uh, Father God, I, I still give it over to you. Uh, I thank you and I praise you for everything. Uh, I, you know, I, I just thank you for the protection. Thank you for uh, watching over the studio, the ministry, the, the podcast equipment, uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, even though we've had problems and shutoffs and, and major, major, major issues here, Father God, this is your house, and we will keep going. We will keep pushing, no matter what it is, no matter what I got to do, Father God, to, to heal up and, and get rest and, and uh, you know, keep fighting this, this next wave that I see in visions, this next wave of battles and fighting, trials, massive tribulations going on in this, again, as I see it as a second wave, another wave coming. We got to armor up, uh, suit up, and, uh, you know, keep going. Don't give up. Now is not the time to call it in. Now is the time to pick up that cross and keep moving, Father God. We know that. I know that. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I hope, you know, everybody out there does that as well. So now is not the time to drop the cross. Now is the time to pick up the cross and keep fighting this next wave here. As we see the end times, as we see all the problems and issues and all the just horrible things going on, Father God, uh, it, we, we just got to keep, keep fighting, keep going. And thank you for everything as well. 
So as I continue in this mission, as I continue in the podcast here, this church service is yours. Uh, glory in it, and I thank you for everything that you've already provided and continue to provide. It's amazing, and uh, all I can say is thank you, Father God. I'm just humbled and uh, grateful for these opportunities as I keep fighting. And uh, thank you again. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. All right, my friends, not kidding. Now's time, now is not the time to drop your cross and run the other way and hide. Now is the time to fight back. Pick up your cross. Pick up your Bible, friends, and keep fighting the good fight. Amen. All right. Well, like I said, I don't know whether to cry or laugh or just shut it all down and walk away for another day. But I, I tell you, friends, it is so frustrating. Um, you know, it is it is just so frustrating. Uh, t- you know, just to <laughs> just just to uh, you know have to set up and go through all this problems and issues. Uh, it's mind blowing. I I'm just frustrated. My, like I said, my my friend texted me and. At uh, about 11.30, 11.24, something like that, 25, something like that. And so why don't you just shut it down and go go back to bed? Yeah, there's no point in fighting your Wi-Fi and fighting, the, you know, the issues that you keep having. You're consistently inconsistent and having problems. I think God's telling you to shut down. Well, I don't think so. Not personally. I, I think uh, he's just testing. You know, and he he does that. He puts us in that wilderness test, like I always tell you. Uh, And, uh, you know, he throws us in that wilderness test, tests you, and and sees, you know, hey, what do you got? What what, All the faith, everything I taught you or or showed you, uh, what are you going to do with it? Well, (sighs) you just kind of grab your Bible and keep praying and keep marching on and keep moving forward, you know, and uh, so... Anyway, that's my rambling part. That's my rambling part there. Uh, as she was saying, hey, just quit and, you know, shut it down for the night. Go take take the night off. Uh, well, I don't think God wants us to take the night off. I've already gone six days uh, with, uh, you know, just resting because, I, I, like I said, friends, I'm always up front with you guys. Haven't felt 100%. Just some kind of little thing going on and uh, tried, I think, uh, about a week or two ago, six days or so. Um, and uh, I think the 16th or something like that. And uh, it wasn't, you know, just tried. I tried to do my what I could. and, and But I got a, you know, speaking of all that, I got a perfect scripture for us, my friends. Uh, I really do. I don't have time, too much time here to be rambling and, and going on about everything. But uh, like I said, I'm always up front with you guys, and y'all know what you know what time it is, what's going on here. Um, you know, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get into our Bibles. We're gonna get into Matthew chapter 11, friends, because I I think that's perfect timing. I think that's perfect uh, scripture for us. Uh, you know, as as you guys know, what it says uh, towards. Uh, chapter or verse 28 there uh so i'm not done yet i don't care what the devil says i don't care what everybody thinks you know i'm not done thank you guys for being so patient thank you guys for your prayers uh your support and uh just hanging in there with me uh you know what i really appreciate that and uh i i'm I'm feeling slightly maybe Five percent better than I have. I uh, I am still, you know, having my coffee, doing my Bible studies, uh, set stuff up, doing a little bit of work, not a, a whole lot, but uh, you know, for the most part, just really, uh, really resting as we get into our cold winter uh, area weather here, uh, thirty degrees actually right now, but uh, you know, um. As the weather changes, I think that's what it is. I think uh, the weather is just getting, you know, obviously changing. And I think that affects a little bit here. You know, we get a little, we get a little effect there. And so, you know, I just kind (laughs) of buckle up and hold on, I guess, right? 
Well, let's get into some scriptures, friends. Let's go ahead and do that as we are live, like I said, on uh, StreamYard TV, live on X, live on YouTube, and Twitch, of course, and more. So thank you guys for all that. Oh, well, I got to take a deep breath here, have my coffee, and uh, hope you guys got your Bibles out with you. Church is on, doors are open. And uh, yeah, we're we're here. We're gonna have a little bit of Bible study. Hopefully, I'll I'll be on longer than <laughs> longer than twenty minutes. But uh, you know, <laughs> that's uh, you know try to do the try to do what I can here. So anyway, let's keep going and let's get going. Right? Uh, amen. Let's read some Bible. Can we read some Bible, church? Can we do that right now? Uh, and again, bless you guys for. Listen to my my little rabble intro there. I didn't mean you know I didn't mean to stray so far, but uh, I had to kind of catch up here to a little bit of update there information for you. Oh, my friends, boy, I tell you, the devil is on the loose. He is trying so hard just to shut us down. It's just not. But you know, like I said, it's not going to work. I I don't know what he thinks, but. It isn't going to work. Uh, friends, we got to put our armor on, keep our Bibles close by us, read our Bibles, of course, uh, and keep praying. Keep just holding on. Keep praying. Trust God. He's got his plans better than ours. Uh, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys get something out of all this uh, as I keep fighting through it, you know. Uh, again, you know, friends, and uh, just say it. Hey, just just bag it up, man. Pack it up. It's time to pack up and go. Well, I I haven't heard from God directly, and you know, I haven't heard any any other than that. Other than keep fighting and keep going, because you know it's just not gonna happen. It's not in the cards. I don't think so. So I told the devil, hey, Mister Devil, dude, get out my grill. Get behind me in the line. Whatever you're doing ain't working. Your plan's not working. So, uh, you know, forget about it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you better go back and uh, re uh, reset your plan because I'm, I'm not done yet. I got a lot more. As we close out this year, a little bit more time in the year, but uh, as we go into a new year soon, uh, again, Thanksgiving Day. Thank you guys again. Happy Thanksgiving for all that. But, uh yeah, I, so I told the devil, keep packing. Just keep walking, nothing to see here. I, I, I've i got my marching orders. I got my directive. And, uh, you know, oh, well, right? Oh, well, to the devil. So, anyway, uh, how you guys doing? What's going on? I know. Let's grab some coffee. Wait a minute. Is my coffee table too far out? There it is. I got my backup coffee and my regular coffee and my water because uh, doctor's order said, hey, drink some water. So that's what I'm doing. Amen. Let's get that channel together. Live on Radio.co, friends. And more. All right. Get to that monitor here. Got it switched up, tin cans on the right side of me on my main phone here again, and then I've got the monitors all lined up and locked and locked and set up here. Uh, channel 3 live with, uh, what do we got? We've got channel 3 here, uh, radio.co, and of course our backup channel on Spreaker. All right, 19 minutes, 20 minutes of rambling and ranting and setting it all up. Let's get to our first scripture, friends. Again, good morning to you. Still starting it at 1130, by the way. Uh, what is that uh, postscript there? For your information, FYI, I'm still starting it at 1130. Oh, mercy. Now, I, if I get an opportunity today, um, I will try to see if I can get back on this afternoon. But... Otherwise, I'm going to stagger the podcast, I think, every other day, uh, just kind of rotate them back and forth between um, Restream TV, the audio part of the podcast on Spreaker, and then, of course, StreamYard TV. So that's why there's uh, a day in between missing. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw in another couple of them this week, and I think I've got scheduled 
uh, all the way out to the end of the month. So I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. But I think that's the plan for now, just just for November, uh, and then uh, we'll see how December goes. I should be back up on Melon and Blog Talk Radio. Uh, I think around the 3rd of December, uh, as finances uh, come in. So I think that's kind of the battle plan. I think that's what we're, what I'm going to go back to uh, is uh, the, you know, the uh, the everyday seven days a week podcast. If I can, like I said, I we're, we're still having some issues and changing, uh, you know, changing the companies over. So just be aware of that, heads up. But you'll see, uh, Francis, you know, as I... Try to plan this. Doesn't always go as I planned it, but uh, you know, I try to do what I can here and uh, try to get these these out a little bit better and a little bit more here. So uh, again, I think that's the plan for November. But every other day, stagger it out a little bit, uh, and then go back uh, as of December first. I think that's uh, we'll go back to that regular uh, seven day a week plan. So. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for your support and your patience here. And I hope you have some understanding. Uh, you know, as I talked about last podcast, I don't have the help. I don't have the backup. Uh, again, not complaining. Uh, I, I appreciate, (laughs) I appreciate the challenge (laughs) that God has thrown at me, but, uh, (laughs) It is a little challenging. I tell you, the challenges are a little bit challenging, and uh, it is a little tough trying to balance everything out, try to get this out. But, you know, we move forward, friends, right? The plan is just to move forward and keep going and, uh, you know, keep keep moving it. So that's I think that's what we're going to do. A, little, a lot of talking. Well, you know, as the category says, talk, show, and podcast. So a little rabble, a little talking. Some coffee thrown in, and every once in a while, I like to read some scriptures for you, friends, or with you. So let's do that, right? Amen. All right. So thank you guys again. Uh, Let's get to it. Chapter 11 in the book of Matthew. Let's get to it here, friends. 20 minutes into it, my friend was like, "Uh, uh, hello, is your coffee? uh, You got coffee? Are you ready to go? Uh, We're ready to go. Let's get going, church. Amen. Chapter 11 in the book of Matthew. Friends, one of my favorite uh, scriptures there uh, from 28 over. So let's read it, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Glad to be on the air. Let's uh, let's keep moving. Let's keep going. All right. Chapter 11. It came to pass. When Jesus had uh, made an end of commanding his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Let's go to verse 2. Now, when John had heard uh, in the prison the the works of Christ, uh, he sent two of his disciples and said unto them, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Genesis 49, verse 10. In verse 4, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see, and blind, or five, uh, the blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. That's Psalm twenty-two twenty-six for that one. Uh, six, and uh, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me, Uh, And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went out ye, or went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? Luke 7.24 And he says in verse 8, But when, or what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, They that wear soft clothing are in uh, the king's houses, right? There it is. But went, or what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger uh, before thy face, which shall prepare Thy way before thee. As we look at John, questions that are for Jesus. He's got questions, right? All right, verse 11. And verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there 
Hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and violent take it by force. Uh, of the violent take it by force, and that's over in Luke 16, 18. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. In 15, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew 13, 9, Revelation 2, 7, there. In 16, but whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. Luke 7, 31. And saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath the devil. The Son of God, or man, actually right here in 19, the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. In verse 20, then began he to uh, upbraid the cities, wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. Luke 10, 13. Woe unto thee, Chorazin, or Chorazin, right? Either way. Uh, woe unto thee, Bethsaida, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes, John or Jonah 3 7, for that side scripture. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted into heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. Let's move that over here just a little bit. Uh, Matthew ten fifteen for that side scripture on that verse. Friends, let's go on to verse nine, uh, 25 here. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, uh, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, hast revealed them unto babes. Psalm 8, 2, Luke 10, 21. Even so, Father, for so if seemed, or so it seemed, good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him, Matthew 28, 18, and John 1, 18. Now, here is the perfect verse. I think we all need to hear it and, and just write this down, friends, you know, on your sticky notes there. If you can, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Jeremiah 6.16 6, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. First uh, John 5.3 So there you go. I thought that uh, was really needed uh, as we soak in those words, friends, uh, for sure. So there you go, uh, Matthew 11. That's our opening set of scripture there, our first one there. Kind of changed the, a little bit, not much, but I, I kind of changed things around just a little bit here uh, on the scripture, uh, you know, on the, on the arrangements of the scripture there. Well, let's go to our uh, notes here. Let's go ahead and grab those. Oh, my friend, I tell you, it is, it's is—it's been a rough six days again. I feel like I'm, I've been left in a boat rocking on the sea there. 
uh, you know, all kinds of things going on. I don't want to get into personal stuff here because that's really not about me. It's it's just try to be, uh, you know, try to get out here, get this message out to you. But I always kind of bring stuff up a little bit about uh, what's going on with me just to keep you informed. But uh, yeah, like I, I mentioned that a month back, I haven't felt I haven't felt 100 percent. I don't know what it is. I just feel off. But I've learned over time of doing this over a decade plus that when you feel like throwing in the towel, don't do it. Do the opposite. Dig in more. Grab your Bible. Grab your cross. Grab your, you know, your podcast notes there, your cup of coffee. Sit in your still place uh, and keep praying to God. And I've learned this over time that, and I, you know, I'm doing this myself. So, uh, you know, uh, every time when I get thrown off, uh, you know, as my former pastors would say, stay in your lane. What are you doing in the left when you should be right down the middle or on the right and you should be in the middle? Stay in your lane, friends. Uh, you know, uh, so I, you know, I, I throw that right back at myself. Hey, you know where the fingers are pointing back at you, right? Um, so just dig in, keep holding on friends. I, uh, I know things look tough and I, I, you know, right there with all, with you. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the time. Uh, and, and now is the time to just keep digging in. Like I said, hold on to that cross. Don't let go of the cross. That's what the devil wants. That's what the enemy wants us to do. Drop the cross and fold up, throw in the towel. Walk away. Yeah, okay. Well, that how's that working out for you? Right? So anyway, that's that's you know, I'm I'm like I said, it's it's been a rough month, but uh trying to trying to hold on and do what I can here. So thank you guys again. As I always say, hey, you guys are the reason, uh the motivation. Of course, God planted that seed uh a long time ago but uh you guys that are consistently here the replay viewers the the you know that watch on all the channels uh across the world the international worldwide uh bless you guys thank you guys so much for uh for holding on and just being patient here uh i know there's a lot of gaps but i'm trying like i said i'm not complaining about nothing you know i mean kind of maybe tiny bit a skosh but uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity. It's it's you guys that do this, you know, it's not an easy task. But we got to do what we've been called, friends. We gotta we gotta obey what God has called us to do, no matter what, no matter the task, no matter how tough and how hard it is, how difficult the situation seems. Uh, we we just gotta hold on, friends. My gosh, you know, we just gotta hold on and just keep going right keep moving give god all the credit and all the glory all the honor and all the praise for sure all right well you know i got me some rambling i uh, let to get caught up here as as i am so <laughs> i might break out into a bible study every once in a while and maybe we got the coffee rolling here uh amen right well that part never changed you know, <laughs> coffee and Bible. So there you go. Well, bless your hearts, you guys. Thank you guys so much. Pastor Rick here, Ministry Podcast Network, live on StreamYard. We've got YouTube, Twitch TV, Twitter, X, all that channels. Uh, amen. Right? Tin Can rolling with us this morning. Radio.co, our friends overseas. Boy, just praying for them, praying for everybody out there. I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's, it's no words to describe it. My heart, uh, my heart goes out to everybody out there. So keep praying, friends. Keep, keep holding on and keep praying again. Uh, bless you guys and thank you guys. Especially thank you guys for the replay viewers too. That's really awesome. I appreciate your support there. Well, let's get into our podcast notes here this morning, friends. I know Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, 2023 already. We don't want to mention the other, you know, all that stuff, but closing out the end of the year, my friends. 
All right, let's keep rolling. We've got our uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Get a hold of me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com, the official contact email for the ministry. Right. All right, take a deep breath. Slow down. You're going to be all right, my friends. Glad to be here with you. Grateful and humbled, as always. So. Let's read it, and I'll send some shout-outs here. Of course, Pastor I know the uh, Soma Puna, or I'm probably going to mess this up, but uh, Soma Numa Padilla, A Blessed Life, and Church of God's Children. Uh, of course, you guys can find them on all social channels. Gab Social, new channel I got uh, lined up with as well, so check that out, Gab Social. Uh, and more, of course, uh, Brother Mark over at the other group there. Appreciate that on all the social media there. Uh, yeah, amen. All right, well, where's the channel? I knew I had it somewhere. Uh, amen. Of course, get all my channels together there. All right. Yeah. Bear with me, you guys. Hold that. Uh, I thought I had the notes together, but apparently I don't. So, anyway, y'all know where that's at and what's going on. Uh, the Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs. There you go. I knew I had it somewhere. I just didn't know where the where was. <laughs> so, I have my notes all together here, friends. So, anyhow, hey, let's get back into the scriptures. Let's go into our uh, podcast notes here, friends, this morning. So, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner. And uh, I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, and make me new. I know your Son, Jesus Christ, uh, let's see, got here, died for me, uh, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. In this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. To live in my heart from this day forward, thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Friends, in Jesus' name we pray, church, amen and amen. All right, we're going to get some coffee here because I forgot, I don't know why I kind of just forgot, but how could you forget your coffee, right? Amen. All right. So let's roll on. We got serenity prayer here, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, God, grant me the serenity. Boy, do we need this prayer right now, friends. I tell you. Mm-mm-mm. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time. Accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is. Not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next church. Amen on that and amen. All right, let's get those notes together amen and amen all right let's go right on over to the lord's prayer my friends our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, church, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right. So we go to our last one over here. How about that armor of God? Of course, we need that every second, every day, every minute, every hour, my friends. We do. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, armor of God. Let's go ahead and check that out, brothers and sisters. Finally, my brothers and my sisters. Amen. Uh, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to uh, stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, friends. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Uh, amen. Now, for which I am an ambassador of bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And there you go with that one. Alrighty, so there you go. Going back over to our main part of our notes here. And grab a little bit more coffee now uh, as we keep going here. Amen. All right. Well, amen. Got a few more scriptures for you, friends. We're going to go into Jeremiah. That kind of popped up a couple of times, and I said, hey, let's go ahead and read that one, too. Let's throw that one in the mix. Uh, what is it? Uh, Jeremiah 29, friends. Can we go there and check that out real quick here? Uh, as we consist, you know, can con <laughs> I was looking at my other notes as the consistency of the, the scriptures. Uh, what I meant to say, can we continue and keep moving here along the uh, the podcast here? So, you know, I get a little tongue-tied. Well, I guess a lot tongue-tied sometimes. I kind of get lost there at what I'm doing here. But, you know, I'm doing what I can here, friends, for the kingdom of God. Amen. All right, so Jeremiah 29, let's go ahead and check that out. Again, I, I'm always in the King James or, you know, the Torah or the Orthodox Study Bible or some of the other NLT there. So the main part of the podcast I do out of the Bible is, of course, the King James. So let's go ahead and do that right now, Jeremiah 29. Let's go to the first verse here. Uh, now, these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah, the prophet, sent from... Jerusalem, as I try to readjust and fight with my pulpit here, uh, and to the residue of the elders which are carried away captives, and to the priests, and to the prophets, friends, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar uh, had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. After that, Jeconiah the king and the queen and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elisha, the son of Shaphan, and Gemariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, All right, verse 4, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Jeremiah 29, 28 for that. Take ye wives and begat sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands that they may bear sons and daughters. That they may be increased there and not diminished. And we look at verse 7. Now let me grab the white out there and fix that part. I didn't even know that was that uh, thrown off there. But bear with me on this. Got one, one little spot I missed somehow uh, in verse 7. I wanted to get that squared up and taken care of here. Okay, uh, let's see. Boy, I missed, missed, missed more than I thought. All right, no problem there. We'll get that corrected out and taken care of. Amen. All right, and give me a minute. Let me 
fix that. As we are in verse 7 in the book of uh, Jeremiah 29 on this, uh, this morning's podcast here. Go ahead and correct that. Amen. Okay, it looks good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and roll with it uh, again. 7. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have called you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Uh, Ezra, all the way over in Ezra, friends, and that's going to be chapter 6, verse 10 on that one. Uh, 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners, or diviners, uh, that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, which ye cause or cease to be dreamed. Uh, Jeremiah 14, 14. For thy, or they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. Again, in times, we're seeing this all the time here. Uh, verse 10, for thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you and causing you to return. Boy, my notes are just all out of sorts here. Wow. Uh, to return to this place, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Watch this, friends. Saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end, friends. In 12, then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken, friends. He says, I will hearken unto you. Amen. And 13, and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall... Uh, ye shall search for me with all your heart. Friends, there it is. Leviticus 26, 39. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive. Because you have said... Uh, the Lord have raised us up prophets in Babylon. Know that thus saith the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and of all the people that dwelleth in. As we look at uh, Ahab and Zedekiah's fate here, friends, again in Jeremiah 29. So let's keep going as he says, the people that dwelleth in the city uh, and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. And thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine. Again, watch this clear signs. It, it couldn't be any plainer, as we see in the end times here in verse 17. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, And behold, I will send upon them the sword, friends, the famine and the pestilence. And will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten, church. They are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence. And will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth. To be a curse and an astonishment and, and hissing. And a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them out. Deuteronomy 28, uh, 25 there, friends. Watch the words here, friends. Uh, 19, because they have not hearkened to my words, saith the Lord, which I send to them, my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them. But ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Bear with me. Uh, sleep and tail of monitors here. All right, let's keep going on this one. Uh, all right, verse 21, no, 20. Again, hear ye there of the word of the Lord, all ye of captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus saith the Lord, 
of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Kaliah, the, uh, and of Zedekiah, the son of Messiah, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Uh, and he shall slay them before your eyes. And of them shall be taken a, up a curse by all the captivity of Judah, which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab, from the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. That's Genesis 48, verse 20. Because they have committed villainy in Israel. Now watch this, friends. Uh, check this out. Uh, and have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives, and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them. Even I know, and am a witness, saith the Lord. Thus uh, shalt thou also speak to Shemaiah, the Nehemite, saying, or dreamer, as it says in my notes here, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Because thou hast sent... Uh, letters in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem and to Zephaniah the son of Messiah or Messiah, uh, let's see, the priest, and to all the priests, saying second in Second Kings twenty five eighteen, as he says here twenty six. Let's do a quick sound check on one, just in case. I don't want to. Have that all messed up there, so there you go. All right, good, good stuff so far. Amen. Okay, uh, a quick check. Where am I at? Oh boy. Um, ba -ba -dum -dum. Okay, so 26 here. I had to retrace here just a bit. Now, 26, the Lord had made the priest in the steed of Jehoiada the priest that ye should be officers uh, in the house of the Lord for every man that is mad, right? And maketh himself a prophet, that thou shouldest put him in prison and in the stock, Second Kings 9.11. Now, therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Antioch, or An Anathoth, right? Which maketh himself a prophet to you. For therefore he sent un, or us in, the, in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long. Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Jeremiah 29, verse 5. And Zephaniah, uh, the priest, read this letter into the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. In verse 30, then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Sent to all them of captivity, saying, Thus saith the Lord concerning Shemaiah, the Nehemite, uh, because that Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you, and I set him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie. Therefore, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah the Nehemite uh, and his seed. He shall not have a man to dwell among his, this people, and neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, saith the Lord, because he hath taught rebellion against the Lord. And there you go, friends. Just in case. Wow. Uh, okay, so... Um, Amen. All right, so we're recording. We're good so far. Now, again, I kind of switched out a little bit so I can get my tablet free uh, right here. I'm still recording on a secondary channel, but uh, I have kind of, uh, you know, kind of reset this. So, uh, all right, so it is recording. Again, I kind of switched things out. Got to, uh, a new set of wireless Bluetooth headphones for the phone and for the uh, the tablet there, so I can record, uh, you know, without all the <laughs> all the wires and cable lines here, friends. Uh, but uh, for you know, for other updates and stuff, as I do the audio stuff. 
uh, amen, right? But uh, yeah, hey, we're rolling right now on the phone for Tin Can, uh, one of our other favorite channels and friends over there. So that's uh, pretty awesome. I found that and got that rolling there. All right, well, Jeremiah 29, that was on the list. Now we're going to go back over, uh, friends, kind of recap in 1 Corinthians. I, I find 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians very interesting and intriguing scriptures uh, and a very interesting book that we definitely need to be into, friends. So if you're looking for something to read, uh, I would say uh, 1 2 Corinthians. So check that out when you get an opportunity, friends, in your Bible study timeout, friends. Okay, uh, let's see. So we're going to go to 1 Corinthians. I think we want to do that. Uh, back over here. And again, not feeling 100% here, friends, so I'll see how much, much longer I can go. Uh, that's been the issue. I just haven't been feeling well. You know, of course, giving it all over to God every single minute, every single day, and every single hour, uh, trying to avoid the, uh, mer you know, the surgery and all that, and uh, not uh, not wanting to do that. So, you know, uh, just holding on and trusting God's plan, not my own, but everybody's telling me, oh, you need to go to the hospital. Get that surgery done. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to trust in the Word of God. I'm going to trust, uh, you know, what he, His healing by His stripes. I am healed, uh, friends, and uh, you know, I'm I'm going to keep fighting this out till you know. Can't give up on God. What do I? That that just says, oh, you just threw God's plan right out the window. You trusted man's word and not God's. Well. I uh, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to keep fighting it out and uh you know, get my rest and and timing out, timing myself out and you know, hey, I still got my coffee. Why not? I got my Bible. I you know, hey, why not? Let's keep going, right? Amen. That's my words of wisdom. Uh <laughs> amen. So, you know, of course everybody's going to say, "Oh, he, you know, Where's your faith and all that? But, well, my faith is with God. That's where my faith is. Don't worry about that faith, friends. Amen. Right there. All right. Anyway, thanks for listening to me rabble on and babble on and <laughs> all that stuff, friends. Oh, you know, you know how it is here, friends. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you hanging out. Well, how about uh, 1 Corinthians? We're going to go 1, 2, and 3 here, friends. As we wrap up 10 Can, you guys can get the rest of the podcast on Twitch TV, of course. Twitch Podcast Live there. And YouTube, that is the main channel where everything goes to. Uh, try to be, you know, I'm trying to be as, not as best consistency as I can through all the things going on and all the problems and issues and, you know... One way or the other, I'm going to be on the air. I'm going to keep going. I, that's, I know that's my mission. That's what i got to do. So, uh, bless you guys. Just That's all I can say. Just I'm so grateful for you guys and uh, always humbled uh, and appreciate you guys being here. <laughs> Amen. So, I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving today. Uh, it is now Thursday, but, uh, again, kicking this over to Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, lots of family, lots of love there and uh, lots of appreciation for each other. And uh, even when you get on each other's nerves, hug it out, <laughs> my friends. Keep praying. Hug it out. You know, life's short, uh, friends, and, 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 you know, things as we see. Uh, you never know day by day here, friends. So, uh, you know, uh, forgive and forget and move on and get over it right that's that's uh that's the words of advice here <laughs> this morning uh as the uh this is i know there's a track out there i can't mention but uh it's uh, one of the things that was just get over it you know hug it out uh give glory and, and just thank you know thank god of course all right there it is live amen let's save that out Amen, 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 amen. Let's see if we could do a uh, change there. 
All right. Uh, boy. All right. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, that's not too good. Amen. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And we will post that out to our friends and family over at Tin Can. Uh, just We're going to take a just a quick pause here. Uh, amen. And uh, we're going to get into uh, first, second, and third uh, verse here as I work on the scripture notes here. And then I'm going to post a couple of things out. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into chapters one, two, and three in the book of First Corinthians here, friends. We take a quick pause uh, again to kind of throw uh, a couple of things out here if we want to get. Uh, not all of them, but uh, the Facebook groups and posts out there a little bit there. All right. So the next podcast I will be on over at Restream TV, friends, and or uh, an audio update today. Uh, again, this is Thanksgiving, so this is my traditional Thanksgiving Day podcast. Sometime this afternoon or early, uh, we'll see. Uh, I just want to make sure I get back on somewhat of a tracking here uh on the on the podcast so uh like i said i know it's been like six days but uh, y'all know what happened and what's going on so all right let's see all right give me a thumbs up if you're the volume is okay i appreciate that in advance let's go to our tin can channel make sure uh, that is okay here. Amen. Yeah, let's see what happens there. Let's... Alrighty, so there you go. A little bit of, a little bit of good stuff there. Amen. All right, let's roll. And uh, again, not going to post a whole lot out. I just wanted to get uh, one or two of these posted uh, to our Facebook groups, our family, friends over there at Facebook, and more. So bear with me, guys. Uh, sorry for the glow. <laughs> wow, is that bright? That just got up all up in my face, my friends. Mercy. And I'll get the rest of these out. Uh, I'll make sure that it gets posted out here. I'm not going to do all of them because I we want to get into our word here. Uh, amen. Oops, let's see. All right, friends. Give me a minute here. It is and like I said, Gab Social Daily Motion live on the other channels. There, uh, bless you guys again. This, uh, let's see, okay, let's go to oh, don't forget Discord, my friends. And uh, like I said, I'll get all this posted out uh, uh, as I get a chance here. Um, I'm not gonna go through all the channels uh, to post that out now, but I just wanted to throw uh, a couple of them out there. All right, so there you go. Let's see if I can do that. All right, good to go. I think, maybe, possibly. Uh, amen. Bless you guys for being here with me this morning. Hanging out. Bless you, bless you, bless you. All right, let's get that going. Back up there. And Tin Can, you got that first hour at Tin Can there live. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, let's see. Amen. Let's see if I can get this there. All right. Good job. All right. Uh, how you doing? What's going on with you, my friends? I uh, hope you're doing well. We're having coffee. We're in the Bible. We're going to the first second or first Corinthians one, two, and three live on Streamyard TV for this. First hour, we're kind of still in our hour here. Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network, friends. Good to be here with you. Again, thank you guys for, for being so patient with me here. Uh, amen. 
All right, so let's get into some word here, friends. You guys are live on the air again. Twitch TV, Ministry Podcast, live there. Bless you guys for being here with me this morning. Rabbling on, reading the Bible, having coffee, and a Bible study broke out, just in case you didn't know. But now you know, because you're always in the loop when you get here, friends. Well, again, uh not feeling good uh it's been a rough week uh kind of going through some things uh you know a little bit a little bit of stuff going on but uh nothing that god can't handle right as we give it on over to god give it over to him so let's read some scriptures let's get to it you're live in your first hour here live on Streamyard tv radio god's radio right radio.co uk on the air speaker one and three let's get to it watching the monitors i know how about that Bible scripture? Let's get to it, friends. Uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, actually, one uh, chapters 1, 2, and 3. Let's go to verse 1. Let's go ahead and read that together here, friends. Now, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sophonis, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, call to be saints with all that in every place. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ, friends, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you, uh, amen, by Jesus Christ. That in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, 1 Corinthians 12, 8. Verse 6, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye came behind in no gift waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians 3.20, who shall also confirm you unto the end, he says, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, church, by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Isaiah 49, verse 7 says that. Verse 10, now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, uh, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, Romans 12, 16. All right, for it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. John one forty two. Friends, brethren and sistren, is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Right? Uh, 14, I thank God that I baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in mine own name. Right? In 16, and I baptized all the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. And we got 1 Corinthians 2 1 for that one, friends. Amen. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, church. But unto us which are saved, friends, watch this. It is the power. And I got to repeat it over and over again just in case you're in the back row and you can't hear it. It is the power, friends, 
of God. Amen. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? I want to know. Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world, friends? Come on now. Job 12, 17. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world be wisdom, or by wisdom, knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of the preaching to save, of preaching to save them that believe. Friends. And I know we got a bunch of blood washed believers all up in the house today, my friends. Amen. Uh, Matthew eleven twenty five, Romans one twenty for that one, brothers and sisters. For the Jews require a sign. What? The Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified under the Jews, a stumbling block, and under the Greeks, foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greek, or Greeks, uh, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God, Romans 1.4 and 1 Corinthians 1.18. Now, watch this, friends, as we see so much foolishness out there, it is mind-boggling. I can't even get into some of the channels and, and all that nonsense. Uh, again, you guys know I do have an Instagram channel, but I, I'm, I deleted it. I'm out. I, I mean, it's still there and available. The channel is there. But I can't stand the foolish comments. Some of the just nonsense and the the ridiculousness of the comments of the people on there are just mind-boggling you guys know you check it out you're on instagram don't do it get off there uh that's why i don't have a tiktok channel i used to have a ministry tiktok shut that down too much foolishness too many fools out there thinking they're wise but they're foolish unlearned friends uneducated just making comments just randomly. Just, oh, yeah, no, don't get off there. Get away from it. It's bizarre, friends. Anyway, uh, the, the Instagram channel is still available, but I, I'm not I, I'm not posting nothing. I'm not even, you know, I'm not on there. So uh, this is why we go back to this. Uh, friends, I had to go back to this, this, this uh, scripture here. Uh, go back to 23. So, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Again, let's go back to 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser and smarter, I would say, than man. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, John 7, 48 there. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. There you go. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, Psalm 8, 2. And base things of the world and things that are which are despised hath God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence romans 327 as we do friends here glory to the lord and uh, laborers with god as we are in first corinthians chapter one and uh, at about verse 30 this morning good to see you guys good to be here with you uh, amen. And 30, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. So you can write that verse down for your uh, your notes there, friends, in verse 30, chapter 1 here in 1 Corinthians. That's, let's go on to 31 here, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, church, friends, let him 
glory in the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah 9.23 this morning. All right, chapter 2. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep moving. Uh, agitating the devil. He don't like it, but oh well. Let's keep moving here, friends. Let's keep rolling. Amen with the fresh word of God this morning. Now, chapter 2, 1 Corinthians. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech. I'm just saying, there it is. Or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Galatians 6, 14. And I was with you in weakness and in fear. Think about this, friends. I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words. Uh, amen. Now, uh, of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. That's a pretty powerful verse there, friends. Uh, write that down in your sticky notes, just in case. Amen. Now, uh, do, 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 do. okay, let's go to, I believe, four again, maybe. And my speech and preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Five, that your faith should not stand, friends. Your faith, church, should not stand in the wisdom of men. Again, we're go, going back right to that. But of the power of God, friends. Amen? All right. Powerful scriptures. I'd say, I'd say. Amen. Oh, boy, did I need that too. All right. Five, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Second Corinthians 4, 7. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not of wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. First Corinthians 1, 20. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Romans 16, 25. All right, as we are laborers with God, my friends. Amen. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they should not have crucified the Lord of glory. In nine, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have uh, entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by the Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things. Let me get those together there. Yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man, or of a man, save the Spirit of, uh, let's see, of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God uh, knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we receive not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Friends, there it is. All right, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but uh, which the Holy Ghost teacheth, Comparing spiritual things with spiritual, 1 Corinthians 1, 4, 2 Peter 1, 16. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness. Uh, unto him neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. All right. Uh, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, friends. Yes, we do. Amen. All right, rolling on to chapter 3, 1 Corinthians here. I believe that's where we are at, is 1 through 3. Let's go ahead and get that clipboard here. One of these days, I'm going to find a spot for this, uh, because it just gets kind of torn up sitting here. And uh, I don't like that. I'm not sure. Where I'm going to put this, but amen. All right, I hope my collar is straight and my shirt's good. <laughs> I, I never know. I look at things and I can see 
uh, kind of the where it, where it uh, kind of bunches up in the back again. All right, I know it's not a fashion show, but you got to look, you know, we got to look presentable here as we represent Christ in church as we are having church service here, uh, friends. So, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, but I just noticed it. A crinkle <laughs> on the backside there. My, my friend just uh, typed in or messaged. Your shirt's wrinkled. I'm not, it's not a fashion show. I'm just trying to get the Bible out here. So I'm just glad to be on, on the air live again. All right. Anyway, konnichiwa, dobaragato, my precious friends in Japan. Be safe, friends, of course, all over the world. You guys uh, be safe and um, praise God, right? Amen. All right. So let's go to three in First Corinthians here. And I, brother, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but uh, as unto eternal or carnal, not eternal, but carnal there, even as unto babes in Christ. First Corinthians 2.14 Now I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither ye are yet, now are ye able. Amen, right? Let's back this up just a little bit for some reason. Okay, uh, three, right? For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, uh, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and I, let's see, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Uh, First Corinthians one twelve. Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. 1 Corinthians 4, 1. I have planted. Apollos watered, but God, church, but God gave the increase. Amen. All right. You can write that down in your notes, friends. God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God, again, as he reiterates the uh, the message here, God gaveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall, as he says here, receive his own reward according to his own labor. Amen, right? Psalm 62, 12, and 1 Corinthians 4, 5. For we are laborers together with God, ye are God's husbandry, and ye are God's building. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, friends, and buildeth thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Romans 1, 5. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Isaiah 28, 16. Uh, now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall reveal, be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereon, or built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. 1 Corinthians 4, 5. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. Uh, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. And that's Jude 23, which we are going to get into the book of Jude here in just a minute. Uh, amen. Now, 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are, friends. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool. 
that he may be wise. Proverbs 5, 7. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Psalm 94, verse 11. Therefore, let no man glory in man, for all things are yours. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world uh, or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. Romans 14, 8. All right, so we might do four to six uh, on the next broadcast, friends. Uh, amen. Let's go ahead and uh, just change out this note real quick. Uh, no worries there. I want to make sure, kind of, you know, get uh, get in there. Yeah, let's, see, let's go ahead and do that. But, uh, yeah, let's take a quick break here. You guys gather, gather your thoughts, get your coffees together. Uh, as, uh, again, let's see, I want to kind of go down here. Um, amen. Bear with me, you guys. Go ahead and take a quick break here. Run around your table, get your coffee together, get your snacks together. Uh, amen. And uh, let me change out some notes here. I, I think I, I want to do this while I'm thinking about it. As you guys always know, you never know when you get here. <laughs> friends so thank you guys again for so much patience it's unbelievable you guys are awesome uh amen let's see and i want to get that taken care of and changed out i'll get these notes together here in just a bit uh my friends so uh bear with me i kind of thought i was going to do that uh, and uh just didn't get an opportunity to change this out so all right, well, uh, let's see, I think I'll put that there. I want to go ahead and run that. Uh, let's see. Amen. All right, so. Hold on here, friends. Um, I want to. I think I'm going to change this out a little bit. Go back into do a series of First Corinthians. Uh, it's got a something just uh, swerved me there, and I think I want to do that. So bear with me on here as I change out the notes here. Uh, and I'll I'll try to get this together as quick as I can because uh, I do have a lot more left to read for you. But I I think I'm I'm just thought process here i want to go ahead and change this out i, I think i want to do that and and get this rolling and uh, uh reset this so bear with me again you guys uh again bless you for being here uh again if i get a chance to get on here i might jump on melon I, I, apparently i do have some time on melon tv i haven't figured a way to pay that yet or cover it but i do have a way uh to get in there and I think that's what I want to do. Maybe I'll jump on here this afternoon and, and do some, uh, you know, do um, uh, another podcast there. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So bear with me. Uh, again, thank you guys. Bless you for being so patient on this Thanksgiving morning. Uh, amen. All right. So, yeah, just changing that a little bit. I uh, just had some thought process and just wanted to make sure i caught this while i was thinking about it uh, as i always say I, I never know what the holy spirit's going to give me i don't always hear but when i do i gotta act on it i gotta make sure i take care of business god's business of course my friends uh amen because he takes care of us right he takes care of our business amen so there you go in case you didn't know now you know uh, amen. All right. So, um, let's see. I think so. Yeah. First Corinthians, and I want to do that. Amen. 
And again, I think we're going to go into the whole series. I, I think we're going to do one through four, or not one through four, um, four through six fronts. Uh, let's see. So uh, maybe four to seven. Let's do that. Let's let's open up with that on the next podcast, four to seven, uh, as I continue the series here. On uh, on First Corinthians, we're gonna go back into that kind of dig back into that word, my friends. I think that's a good idea. Amen. Amen. All right. Bless you guys for being so patient with me here. But again, four to seven. I think that's the chances of what we're gonna do. A lot of reading, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So, yeah, four to seven. And, you know, it it covers a lot here, friends. Kind of about the, the fornication and the benevolence. Uh, husband rendered to the wife due to benevolence in verse 3, seven, uh, chapter 7 there. Uh, lots of deep stuff, friends, uh, for sure. Uh, amen. But uh, we're going to get into that in the next few podcasts here. And I know that's going to be a heavy, heavy, uh, heavy, heavy podcast there. But I do want to cover that. I do want to get into that. Uh, and I'll, I'll work on the scheduling later on after the podcast here. Lots of work to do. But that's okay, uh, as I always do here. I don't mind doing it uh, for sure. So, All right. Well, that just a quick changeover. Update the notes there. 1 Corinthians 4 to 7 on the next podcast. Uh, so, Stick around. Come on back, friends, for that series. Again, we're jumping back into 1 Corinthians. I want to make sure we do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Mark. Um, Mark, Mark, Mark. There we go. And let's see. Let's go back here. Hi, man. Bear with me, guys. I just saw another something else. Oh, boy. No, I'm going to stick to the plan. <laughs> Otherwise, I get distracted and get thrown off there. I don't want to make I want to make sure that I, I, I stick to that. So we're going to go to Mark, the book of Mark here, friends. Amen. All right. Better with me, my friends. We are going to keep going here. And, of course, like I said, I want to send a, a happy Thanksgiving shout-out to everybody. Bless your hearts. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, amen. Amen. All right, one. There it is. Make sure I get that. Amen. Wow. All right. All right. Oh, got to stretch out. Amen. Mark chapter 1, friends. Let's go ahead and read that. Let's go ahead and check that out this morning. Amen. On this Thanksgiving day. Amen. All right. Now, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger. Uh, right? He says, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of, as I always say, the voice of one crying uh, in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Now John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and the of Jerusalem. And were all baptized in him. Uh, are of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle, uh, friends, as we see here, of a skin about his loins. Amen. Well, that looks bad. All right. Uh, and he did. The brother ate some locusts and some honey. Man, I tell you, friends. I hope them locusts taste like chicken. But uh, I'm not eating one. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not eating. <laughs> well, maybe if you have to. You know, I guess if you barbecue them or fry them, I guess they're okay. There's your cooking tips 101 this morning, friends. <laughs> Amen. I know my friend just let, 
sent me a bunch of LOL laughing uh, out loud stuff. I'm just saying, the the brother was out there. He was eating them locusts and them honey. So, I, I mean, honey is good, of course. But locusts, I don't know about that. So, anyway, he preached, friends. Uh, he did some preaching out there. You know, John the Baptist, John the brother. Uh, and saying, there cometh one mightier than I, or I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you, friends, with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 44.3. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John and Jordan, Matthew 3.13. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open, friends. Imagine the, the picture here. He saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. Matthew 3.16 And there came a voice from him of heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts. And the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, John was put in prison, and Jesus came unto Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, Matthew 4.12. And saying again, friends, here it is, just in case, uh, right there. Uh, the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Daniel 9.25, Galatians 4.4. 4. Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the, uh, into the sea. For they were fishers, Matthew 4.18. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become Fishers of men. That's our task. That's our uh, our primary uh, mission, right? And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. All right, uh, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants, and went after him. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them uh, as, see, he taught as one that had authority. Of course he did, right? And not as the scribes, Matthew 7:28. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out in Luke 4, 33, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God, Matthew eight twenty nine. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him, Mark one thirty four. When the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed inasmuch uh, that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth, he, even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad among all the region round about Galilee. Let's go on to 29 here, friends. Give me a minute there. All right. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her and he came and took her by the hand and he lifted her up and immediately the fever left uh, left her and she ministered unto them 
And at even, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased in them that were possessed with devils. And all the city were gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of divers diseases and cast out many devils, friends. And suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him, Mark 3.12. And in the morning rising up a great while, and get that together there. Uh, before day, let's see. While before day, he went out and departed unto a solitary place. And they prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And said unto them, Let us go into the next town, that I may preach there also. For there for came I forth, Isaiah 6, uh, I believe 61, verse 1 there on that one. And he said unto them, Let us go unto the next towns, that I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. Again, uh, going back over that, let's go on to the next one here, 39. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all of Galilee and cast out devils, Matthew 4, 23. And... There, let's see, came a, a leper. Not a reaper, but a leper, friends. Uh, you know, my notes are so messed up here, I almost thought that was a reaper. But, alas, it is not. It is a, uh, a leper. Let's move on. Oh, him beseeching him and kneeling down to him and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean, right? Uh, and Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him. And saith unto him, I will be thou clean. Amen. And uh, boy, am I hanging on to that one. I'm claiming that one for sure. All right. Now, 42. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he was cleansed, friends. They straightway charged him and forthwith sent him away. And saith unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, shew thyself to the priests, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them, as he says here in the scripture. Uh, Leviticus 14.3 and Luke 5.14 for that verse. And scripture, of course, 45. But he went out and began to publish it much, and to blaze abroad the matter in as much that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places, and uh, and uh, came to him from every quarter. And they, okay, so I'm missing. Sometimes my notes trip me up, but I got to fix them when I can. All right, there you go. Uh, Luke 1, pretty awesome uh, chapter there. All right, so we're going to roll on to John. I got a few more left for you. We'll see the time wise here, friends. You know, I always like to give you a little extra over a little two hours or so. Uh, for sure, I want to make sure. You know, like I said, I never know when I'm going to get back on here. I'm not 100%. I still have the hernia. They are saying get surgery, go in, take care of it. I am totally relying on God's uh, healing power and, you know, what He. Uh, he is doing already. Um, I, I'm still resting as much as I can. Ice pack, listen, you know, doctor's orders, uh, not doing the work that I normally do. A little light work, I'm completely light duty. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Um, you know, I can't wait to get back on track again. But again, I think God tested me. I think I'm back in my wilderness test going, uh, I want to I want to <laughs> go do some work. But he, he's not letting me do it. He definitely is not letting me do it. So he's just saying, okay, rest, get healed. Uh, you know, do light stuff. Stay in your Bible. Stay in your word. Um. You know, he slows us down for sure. And I know that. I see that. And I realize that God is slowing me down. Uh, I was at a pretty rapid pace there for a long, long time. A lot of chaos, a lot of stuff going on uh, personally and just dealing with everything. And I think God just put the brakes on it and said, well, 
you don't want less than me, so guess what? You know, because I was working pretty good hours. I was getting a lot of time in, a lot of hours in there. And, uh, you know, I, because I, I have to, like I said, I'm not complaining about it. But uh, I don't have the help. I don't have backup. There's not a, a co-host. There's not anybody to come in and fill in if I'm out. I mean, you know, news and other channels have that maybe. Uh, but a lot of this stuff we just do on our own. We do what God has called us to do. So, you know, it would be nice eventually to go back to that. But, um, you know, like I said, uh, it's it's uh, it, it's still a bit of a struggle. I'm going to be real here with you, friends, as I always do. Uh, but, uh, you know, and you guys that d- do this, you know what I'm talking about, uh, friends. You know what I'm talking about. You know that, you know, you have to kind of dig in and uh, kind of tough it out. You know, uh, rely, you know, of course, I will rely on God. But, uh, you know, we, we got to just uh, dig in, right? Just do what we can. So that's, again, that's why the consistent or the inconsistency of the, a podcast, uh, and, and again, so I've basically all the way through November now. I know there's only 30 days in a month. We're here on the 23rd, but um, I have uh, staggered out uh, about every other day uh, just to get that extra healing and that extra time uh, to go back over and uh, really just study and, and rest and, and stay out of uh, you know stay off the uh, you know just stay. <laughs> Stay as rested and possible, and, and just kind of regroup. I guess I, as frustrating as it as it gets uh, for me. And again, you guys know, um, I, I just have to hear God. I have to listen to God and just trust Him that He's. I and I can as I'm getting these visions, not often, but as I get the visions, we I feel like we're in a or coming into a bigger wave. There's something for the next year, and soon. I mean, at the end of this year, and I'm saying it because I'm feeling it, and I know a lot of you guys out there are too that preach this word, you share this message. Um, there, there is something coming bigger than the last few years, bigger than the last couple of years, and it's just gotten worse. You know, the end of nineteen two thousand twenty or whatever. Uh, it has gotten worse, and, and and I just see another wave of seriousness coming through. So you guys beware. Hold on. Keep the faith. Trust God. Uh, you know, uh, I tell you, it's it's powerful. And when I got it, it was early in the morning. I got that vision, and uh, I tell you, it shook me to the core, my friend. There's a lot of preachers out there, a lot of pastors out there saying the same thing. So I know I'm not the only one uh, as we feel the shift, another shift coming. So hold on, bear with it. (laughs) Just trust God, my friends. That's all I can say is trust God, keep the faith. Uh, You know, we're going to be okay. We're going to get through it. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you, there is another wave of stuff coming that's going to hit us. And uh, we just got to hold on. Trust God. He's got a plan. So anyway, thank you guys. All I can do is just tell you thank you so much uh, for everything. So let's get into the word, my friend. I tell you, uh, you know, as I get my rambling time back in there, um, I'm just, boy, I tell you, amen. I'm going to shift a, a couple of things around here. Bear with me, guys. Um, and let's see. We're going to go to John. Uh, friends, I want to go to John chapters 15 to 17. Just something hit me there again. Be separate. But uh, uh, as I, like I said, I don't get them often. But I, when I get shifted, I I. I'm going back to that. I'm getting these shifts again, this power shift, uh, visions uh, again, as the scripture says, old men shall dream dreams, right? Or have visions or something like that. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's shift gears a little bit. Let's go over to chapter 15 in the book of John, friends, as we are in John anyway, 15, 16, and 17. I want to share those. Let's go ahead and read them together. 
uh, in this hour. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. Still at a cold, crispy 30 degrees here, my friends. I hope you got your coffee and your tea ready for your Thanksgiving dinner. I will be here in the studio probably hanging out, uh, working on stuff. Uh, setting up, uh, it might, might, like I said, I might jump over to Millen. Uh, apparently, I still have some hours there, too. Um, they kind of changed the payment plan around a little bit, so I'm not able to get on there for some reason, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep rolling here this morning, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Live on the air, my friends. Uh, it's still kind of... <laughs> Still kind of hurting, but I, you know, I got to push through it. Uh, so much to say, so much to share. Just unbelievable amount of stuff here, friends. So anyway, bless you guys. Chapter 15 through 17, be separate, the vine dresser, right? Or the vine man? No, the husband man. <laughs> Let's read it. He says in 15, verse 1, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, and make it, uh, what did he say here? And he may bring forth more fruit. All right, um, let's see. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Except it abide in the vine, no more can ye. Except ye abide in me, Colossians 1.23. Now, in verse 5, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, uh, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, friends, ye can do nothing. Right? Now, in 6, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth, or cast forth as a branch, yeah, and is withered. And men gathered them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Matthew 3.10 If ye abide in me, and my words, friends, abide in you, uh, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Now herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples, Matthew 5, 16. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. Now, if ye keep my commandments, as he says here, ye shall abide in my love, uh, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Now these things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might be uh, might remain in you, and that your joy might be fulfilled or might be full. Now this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. John thirteen thirty four. Greater love. Let's see. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John ten eleven. And ye are my friends. He says here, friends, as he tells us. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Let me fix that spot. I I thought that I had it right, and I didn't do it. So, here we go. All right, good enough. That's it. Uh, oops. <laughs> my microphone. I'm so, I'm so blessed that I finally figured a way to fix this boom arm instead of having the other one run in. Uh, which is okay. I, that's kind of how I originally started out was with a you know, microphone boom arm. But uh, these things are such a blessing to have. Actually, just kind of take up less space on your desk, right? Anyhow, before we get too sidetracked, let's keep rolling here. So as we look at 13 here, John 15, he says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 10, 11. Now, 14, ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Genesis eighteen seventeen and Acts 20, verse 27. 
Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Again, that was the real key verse, real key scripture here that really turned it around for me. Uh, friends, you know, we can run, but we can't hide. God called us, friends. I mean, he called us. So, uh, as he clearly is saying here, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, friends, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, and whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Now these things I command you, that ye love one another. If, in 18 here, friends, if the world hates you, watch this again here, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, but the world would love his own, but because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Right? Come on now, we're seeing this all the time, constantly. As he says, words of warning here. Uh, 20, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they, uh, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours uh, also. Uh, Ezekiel 3, 7 and Luke 6, 40. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me, church. There it is. Matthew 10, 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. 1 John 2, 23. If I had not done among them the works which, uh, let's see, which none of the men did, they had not had sin, but now, have, let's see, now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. Uh, John 3, 2. But this cometh to pass, the word might be fulfilled, that it is written in their laws. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter come, will I send, or whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. As he says here, Luke 1, 2 as well. Again, uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, 16, John chapter 16 here. Now these things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. Move that around there. All right, uh, Matthew eleven six, uh, verse eleven six there, chapter no oh, verse. All right, uh, let's see. They shall put um, you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh. But again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of these decades I'll have this thing squared up. Anyway, uh, you guys know us. Again, recording on channel three on the backup. All right. Hey, Amen. Uh, 16, right? Is, is that where we're at? All right. Uh, let's see. Now, the time committeth what so ever or whosoever what whosoever killeth you will think that he again uh that he doeth god service john 9 22 and these things they do unto you because they have not known the father uh nor me but these things have i told you that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them, and these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you, uh, Matthew 9, 15. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you ask of me, whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your hearts. John 14, 1. 
Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, that it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, ah, the Comforter will not cometh unto you. But if I depart, I will send uh, him unto you. And when he has come, uh, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Friends, bear with me. Amen. Little pop-ups coming up on channel one here. Got to make sure I take care of that. So that's again, that's why the glow here from all this lights and everything. I have three monitors sitting here and then five computers, laptops here. Uh, so it's a little glowy. I can't help it. I'm glad to have it. I'll hopefully expand here uh, this next year. Hopefully get some more space uh, set up here. All right, let's continue. Let's roll on here as we're just approaching our second hour. So we're probably a little over two hours, not much more over that. But, you know, again, I'm I'm trusting the Lord. So, amen. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, let's go back to verse, I believe, verse 5. But now, as we are in 16, verse 5 here. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asked of me, whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. John 14, 1. Nevertheless, I tell you that truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, he says, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he... Uh, is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Uh, sorry about that. I have a hiccup. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know where that came from. Maybe the coffee kicked in. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep rolling. <laughs> let's keep rolling. I'm going to get through this. All right. Uh, let's see. Verse 8. And when he is come, he will prove the world of sin and righteousness and of judgment. There you go. Amen. Bear with me again. Taking some quick notes. All right. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Acts 2.22. Of righteousness, friends. And we're going to mark this down here first. All right. So, of sin, because they believe not on me. Uh, Acts 2.22. Now let's go on to 10. Number two of righteousness, because I go to my Father and ye see me no more. And 11, chapter, or verse 11, 3. Of judgment, because they, the prince of this world is judged, of course the devil. I've yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them now, Mark 4.33. Albeit when he, the Spirit, there it is, of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For, eh, there it is, all right, uh, let's see. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear that he shall speak, and he will shew you things to come. John 14, 17. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall shew it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, therefore said I that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. Matthew eleven twenty seven. A, a little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. As we are in our second hour here, friends. Uh, amen. All right, bear with me again here. All right. Uh, John 15, 16, right? Okay, uh, verse 15, all things that the Father hath of mine, therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall shew it unto you, Matthew eleven twenty-seven. 27. A little while and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while and ye shall see me because I go to the Father, John seven thirty-three. Now let's go on to verse 17 here. 
Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he, uh, he saith unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, and because I go to the Father? Now they said, therefore, what is this that he saith? A little while. We cannot tell what he saith, as he was talking in parables there. All right, uh, 19. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said a little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me. Now verily, verily, I said unto you that ye shall weep and lament, for the world shall rejoice that ye shall be sorrowful, or, let's see, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow because her, uh, let's see, because uh, her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. Uh, Isaiah twenty six seventeen. And you know, <laughs> sorry about that. Boy, that just came up out of the blue. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> random cops. Well, we just had a car drive by the studio, and I think that backfired of the of the truck there, whatever it was. Uh, just got in. I always have my studio windows open here uh, on the right side. You guys can't see it, but there's a studio window here. There's actually one behind me, but I board, you know, kind of set this up as a backdrop here. Uh, but, uh, a truck just came by and just backfired. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the microphone, but wow, uh, that just <laughs> caught me off guard. What do you know? Amen. Well, like I said, I am live. So, uh, there you go. All right, let's move on this morning. A little after two o'clock AM still cold. Uh, hey, Amen, but I'm warm. I'm good. I hope you guys are warm. All right, 22. And ye know, therefore, let's see. And ye now, therefore, have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice. And your joy no man taketh from you. Yeah, we got Luke 24, 41. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Barely, barely. Uh, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask, Ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Now these things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs. But I will shew you plainly of the Father. All right, uh, at that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you, but I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. John 3, 13. I came forth from the Father, and have come into the world again. I leave the world, and go to the Father. But he is coming back, my friend. Oh, boy, what a blessed day that's going to be. All right. Now his disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverbs. Uh, let's see, or parable, or, yeah, parables. There we go. Uh, now are ye sure that thou knowest all things, and needest, uh, let's see, let's get that out of the way, uh, not that any man should ask thee, but this we believe that thou camest forth from God. John 17, 8. Now Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe, church? Right? And behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me uh, ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, brothers and sisters. I have overcome the world, Isaiah 9, 6, and Romans 5, 
one, and I think we're going to go to 17. All right, chapter 17 in the good book of John, my friends. Good to see you this morning. Amen. Just a little over two hours here, but we're going to keep rolling just a little bit longer here. All right, these words in verse or chapter 17 here in the good book of John, the rebel in John the brother, John the preacher, John the man, preaching this morning. Good to be here with you. Now these things spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son and thy son also may glorify thee. And thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast set, uh, or sent, Isaiah 53, 11. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was, John 1, 1. I have manifested thy name unto the men, which thou gavest me out of the world, thine they were. And thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Psalm 22, verse 22 on that one. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didn't sent me. John 8, uh, 8, 28 on that one. I pray for them, <clears throat> I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And again, friends, we are talking about our assignment here. Uh, as are in the fivefold ministry, right? We know we we know what that is. Uh, we have our assignment of our the the flock of God, right? And this clearly says uh, talks about that. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I glorified in them, or I am glorified in them. Uh, John 16, 15. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I came to thee, uh, Holy Father, keep thou thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. John 1, 21, 1 Peter 1, 5. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And that is the key note there, that the scripture might be fulfilled, friends. And now I came to, uh, see, I came to them, I believe, no, the, Right, uh, and these things I speak in my world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, uh, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. John eight sixteen for that. Uh, let's see, as we move on to 15, verse 15, I pray not that thou should, uh, shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest bend them from the evil, or keep them from the evil, Matthew 6.13. In verse 16 here, uh, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. 2 Samuel 7.28, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so... Uh, have I also sent them into the world. And for thy sake I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through, the, uh, through their word. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, 
that they also may be one of us, uh, be one in us. There it is. Uh, that the world may believe that the that thou hast sent me. Uh, let's see. So 22, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I and them, and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them, and thou hast loved me. Colossians 3.14 Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be, uh, see, be with me where I am, and they may behold my glory, and thou hast given in me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. John 4, 5 for that one, friends. All right, just double-checking. Wanted to make sure uh, everything was okay here. Amen, hopefully. Uh, no shadows. I know I got the lights going on, but uh, I thought I saw something. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the, the shadow of the glasses here. Anyway, let's keep going. We've got a few more scriptures here. Now, in 24, Father, I will that they have also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. John 4, 5, and we got 25 here. O righteous Father, the world hath not known me, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them my name, and I will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. All right, lots of reading there, friends. I tell you, I always like to share the word here. So John 15 through 17, be separate out of the world. All right, take a little notes there. Okay. Let's see, one more. How about we go to Jude, friends? Let's jump over to the book of Jude. And I will reset this. Uh, amen. And I always like to load you up with lots of scriptures because, like I said, friends, I right now under the situation uh, the, with the hernia and everything, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to get back on. But I, like I said, I fought for 30 minutes to try to get on here. Uh, today and uh, it was rough. I'm not gonna lie about that. I, I'm not gonna make it up. But boy, it was it was rough trying to get on here. Uh, Thirty minutes of problems and uh, a little frustrating. So, but you know, I pushed through uh, as always. So thank you guys again for your patience waiting for me to get on line here. Um, we'll see how today goes and what happens with. Uh, Scheduling and all that good stuff, my friends. So let's see. Let's go to Jude. That's that it is right there. So we may just close out, leave you with Jude here, chapters one through twenty-five. Amen. All right. Uh let's see. Let's put that back. Yeah, did too much here. Uh okay, so Jude one. Let's go to Jude one here, friends, all right? All right, Jude, the servant <clears throat> of Jesus Christ, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. 1 Peter 1, 2. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you. Uh, and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend, or contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Philippians one twenty seven, Second Timothy one thirteen. For there or for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 9.21, Titus 
I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, uh, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, <clears throat> there it is, uh, right there, the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. Uh, let's see. He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness under the judgment of the great day. We're talking about judgment day there, friends. Mercy. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, Genesis nineteen twenty four, Second Peter two six. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, uh, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation. But said, the Lord rebuke thee, Daniel 10, 13. For these speak of these things which they know not, but what they know uh, naturally is brute beasts, and those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them! For they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished into the gain, saying, Of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of charities. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds there without water, carried uh, about a winds, trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Proverbs 25, 14. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Isaiah 57 verse 20 and enoch also seventh from adam prophesies these uh saying and let me get that bookmark in there real quick here make sure i got that bookmark set up for this book there all right they saying behold the lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints uh to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them all that are ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed uh, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. 1 Samuel 2.3 and Malachi 3.13 These friends as we clearly see we're, seem like we're surrounded by this right here. Murmurers, complainers walking after their own lusts and their mouth speaketh great swelling words having men's persons and admiration uh, because of advantage, Proverbs twenty-eight twenty-one. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers, and we again plain to see every single day here, friends. Uh, there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. First Timothy four one. Now, as we look at nineteen here. These, by they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit, Proverbs 18, 1, Hosea, uh, Hosea 4, 4, 14. I think that, that, that is, all right. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, church, right there. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, friends unto eternal life and of some have compassion making a difference and others save with fear pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment spotted by the flesh now unto them that is able to keep you from the falling to present to you faultless before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both power and are both now and forever amen romans sixteen twenty seven. Amen. All right. We did it. We made it. We survived it. <laughs> Amen. 
boy thank you guys so much i unbelievable all right do i really want to just send a another quick shout out uh over to pastor ina don't forget uh you got oh, let's see what is that here let me some stuttering going on mercy uh church of god's children over at imvu and more now also at gab social so check that out and i am over there as well oh mercy all right well that is a wrap my friends uh, i'll work on the schedule get this all squared up and taken care of and uh, hopefully see you or see you sooner than later friends so we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear, see how things go. I am feeling a little bit better, not 100%, not like I really want to, but I am trusting God's healing, friends. I know it's, I got to trust the process. That's all I can do uh, on that. So bless you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving day. Shout out to my kid I on... Oh, where are we at here? Next week, actually, in my middle son. So there you go. Uh, bless you guys. Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network, live again on StreamYard TV. Next broadcast will either be on Melon TV or, like I said, I kind of staggered out the podcast uh, for uh, for the rest of November. Uh, and, and like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to do that for the rest of like December. But I, I think, uh, at least for the rest of this month, I'm going to stagger them every other day uh, to, uh, to you know, just to give myself a little bit of breathing space and some healing time, which I really need. You know, you guys know what's going on with that. Um, but uh, that's that's kind of the plan. So that, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> let me get a screenshot real quick. That is... Actually, we are on the first main page here. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to get a quick screenshot uh, on the channel here. That's pretty amazing. Let's see. I want to do that backwards. Bear with me, guys. Getting a quick screenshot. YouTube TV. That's pretty awesome. Amen. All right. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. All right, bless you guys. Thank you guys so much. I uh, appreciate you guys ever so much. That's cool. Uh, really good. Um, so, amen. All right, so I'll get all this posted out. I, I'll get you guys set up. And uh, anybody I forgot, family, friends, brothers, sisters, um, I will, uh, I'll get this posted out. Make sure that uh you guys are uh, in the know there they're at least you know uh take a uh, set up so all right anyway thanksgiving day thank you guys bless you ever so much pastor rick ministry podcast network again feeling a little bit better now <laughs> you guys are gonna see uh i just uh took the screenshot of the monitor here uh, if you go to YouTube on the main channel of YouTube, I'm on the first page. I'm on the first entry. Uh, so I had to kind of jump on there, and I, I'm right on camera here. So anyway, you guys will get a, a self shot there, not of me, but of the channel being on the on the main page. That's pretty awesome. I bless you guys for doing that and just being supportive. That's really really awesome. So anyway, you get you get a screen <laughs> be taking a screenshot of the monitor over here. Uh, that is nice. So. Anyway, bless you guys. That's it for me. Have a great Thanksgiving, friends. Uh, I will uh, try to get back on here later today if I can. If not, I'll see you on the next broadcast, probably Friday, right? Yeah, probably Friday. It's Thursday already, Thanksgiving Day. Bless you guys. Pastor at Ministry Podcast Network. Let's close out our channels here. All right, uh, Radio.co, see you on the next one. You guys take care. Have a great uh, day, and uh, bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, friends. All right, there's Radio.co. Let's go to channel three again on both channels, four, Spreaker channel three. See you soon, friends. Talk, talk to you soon. Amen.
All right, there it is. There it is. There it is. So that is rolling out. And let's go close out Spreaker Channel 1 on our main one. I'll get this out. Anchor Cast Box, Radio.co. You guys, I'll talk to you soon on that. Uh, amen. Take care, you guys. Uh, StreamYard, hold that thought. Give me a minute here. Let me close out Spreaker Audio Channel 1 on the main channel here. Bless you guys. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you sooner than later. Friends, Pastor Eric Ministry Podcast Network for the 22nd. I started this 1130. We're going to leave it there. It rolled over to the 23rd, but that's okay. Have a great day, friends. Talk to you soon. Spreaker. See you soon, friends.